You wanna come on camera? You wanna vlog with me? Huh? <laughs> okay. Today's Thursday, March 28th. And vlogging is hard. I think because I've never really filled myself so much. I'm trying to be consistent because this is definitely something I wanna get into. I'm interested in. I'm always interested in kind of getting my creative juices flowing kind of getting that part of me going because it is something that i truly enjoy doing and i do feel like creating content vlogging editing all of that kind of fuels that fire that i have for my creativity so i'm trying to be consistent i'm trying to be motivated to pick things up and just kind of film as I go, small little things, I think baby steps until I fully get comfortable with vlogging is key. But I just have to remember to bring my camera. I keep forgetting. The battery's always dying. I never have the fully charged. I had to buy SD card. So I think as I continue vlogging, I'll kind of get the hang of it. I'll have some tricks. I'll be more prepared. I think the editing part is what's taking me the longest. Now I understand why vloggers say they take so long to edit their videos. I think filming is the easy part. If I remember to bring my camera, it's just the editing part that just takes so long. Um, but I think with time, I'll just get used to it. Again, I just need to be consistent. I need to film content because without content, I can't edit. So I'll be sure to bring my camera along. And really this channel and what I want it to be is just me sharing my journey. I'm in a new phase of my life where I'm learning to live on my own. And I really want to document a lot of that because I want to be able to look back years from now and just reminisce, look back at the memories, look, at back, look back at my growth and see how far I've come. Um, it's an adjustment for me living on my own. Literally, I think in tomorrow, no, in two days, will officially be one year since I signed for my condo. And it flew by so fast. It just like from one day to the next, I can't believe I've been here for a year already. And I think so much has happened in that year. And my thoughts and just me wanting to actually start vlogging has been an idea for so long that i just need to pick up the camera and do it like i just need to again be consistent be motivated and just start you know capturing moments because this is gonna sound super cheesy but moments you just can't really put into words those like you had to be there in order to understand moments and just being able to like capture that is really what I'm trying to kind of get with this vlogging series and with YouTube is really trying to capture those moments for myself and just experience life with everyone. Um, learn from everyone, I think that's so important. I feel like I can learn so much about myself, about the world around me, about the people. That's something else that I really, really, really want to get out of this. Um, I don't know where it's going. I don't know what's going to happen. But all I know is that this feels right. And just me picking up the camera, talking to you, and sharing with you my story, my journey. That all feels right. So, yeah, I'm going to do a lot better. I am claiming it. It is on my vision board. And, yeah, so... That is enough of that. I am getting ready. I'm about to go for a run, a nice 
quick little one mile run. I try to squeeze it in every other day. I'm trying, I'm also trying to be disciplined, consistent with vlogging, disciplined with my running, and then I'm gonna get a massage because all this running and working and then trying to, you know, kickstart my vlogging has been a little stressful and I'm holding a lot of stress on my shoulders and my back and I'm starting to feel the pain. I feel the knots. I was at the gym this week and I actually haven't been in two weeks. So when I went back, I was in so much pain, like my shoulders and my back was killing me. But then after my workouts, there was like this kind of sense of like relief, like my muscles were almost telling me like, yes, we've been waiting for you to take us and like stretch us out and get this workout in because I was on a little two month break, not two months, sorry, I was on a two week break and I'm starting to kickstart again. If anyone out there is into the gym, you already know it is a lifestyle. Um, something you definitely have to keep up with. Any little break, it like takes you back to the beginning, which is fine because I like a challenge. Um, sometimes you kind of plateau and you don't get as much of a workout or I guess that feeling of like, yes, I worked this muscle out until you take that little break and you go back and then you're hurting all over again. But I did go to the gym this morning, or not this morning, this afternoon during my lunch break. I am about to go for a nice little one mile run and I'm gonna end my day with a little massage because I deserve it. I work so hard and it's a little bit of self care. I just need my body I just need my body to take a moment to breathe, to relax, and just release any tension I have, any stress I've been feeling for the week, and just let go. Um, I requested a day off tomorrow, so I don't have to worry about going to work, thank goodness. So I could just fall into deep relaxation today, and then I have a nice little long weekend. Lots of things planned, actually, over this weekend, so I'm going to be feeling nice and calm and chill and relaxed just how i would like to spend my long weekend so yeah let me get this run in so i can get my body moving because i have been sitting in this chair at my desk all day today and i just need to stretch my legs not easy I feel like such a sweaty mess <clears throat> it's okay we're about to shower but I don't like this tripod let me and I need to like let my hair down because I need to like air it out and unfortunately my massage was canceled today so I'm a little bummed about that so I guess instead of getting a nice calming massage i'm still gonna take a little self-care moment and i'm thinking about running myself a nice hot bath soak in there for a little bit and then maybe like just watch a movie or something and just hang out here at home nothing too exciting but i did request tomorrow off um which is nice because it is spring break and a lot of people are taking off this week so it's been kind of quiet at work i figured it's like the best time for me to also just take off because there won't be too much work or anything going on um it'll be kind of quiet because sometimes where i work if you take a day off i come back and i've got like 300 emails like i was taking all my vitamins you guys Vitamins are important. You gotta take them. I have my multivitamin. I take hair and skin and nails. I take B12. And I take 
When was the last one? Vitamin D, because I'm low on vitamin D, so. And I like the gummy versions because I'm 12 and they just taste so good. They're easier to take. to find a new tripod because I'm a tall girl and I don't have anything that's like as tall as me where I can put this tripod like this is the tiniest tripod ever and it doesn't even extend so you get like this all this cuts off but um, I just finished my bath and it was so nice so relaxing but my day is not going exactly how I planned it would be, but that's okay because I feel like every time I plan something out, it never goes according to how I wanted to go. But I was in the bath, and when I'm in the bath, I kind of tune everything out. And I was in there for a while. I think I was in there for at least like an hour, maybe more. But I just get into like a deep relaxation, and I lose track of time. But while I was in the bath, my mom texted me that they're all going out for dinner um, at this pizza spot that's actually really good. It's called Parlor Pizza. In, um, and if you're from Chicago, it's in, um, I think they have a few locations, but the one we're going to is in Fulton. And I've ate there before. And I'm like so tempted to go, but that means I need to get ready. I need to drive. And I am feeling kind of lazy, so I am overthinking this. And I think that as I do my skincare routine, I'll see if whether or not I want to go. Because I don't know. As you can tell, I changed. I am going to go ahead and... Oh, it's... There you go. My mom just got back from Spain. So it'd be nice to see her and hear about her trip. Um, it's in the city. That's the thing that sucks is I live all the way out in the burbs. And to be honest, I like it. I like the burbs. It's quiet. But in times like this, when I have to drive into the city, I'm like, it's like a 40 minute drive to get there. Which is fine, it's not too bad. I think I'm used to driving that distance at this point. Um, so I'm gonna meet my family there. And I'm gonna take my camera with me because we're trying to be good, I'm trying to be consistent. And I'll try to capture a little bit while we're having our dinner. I'm not wearing makeup because that is too much work. And then I'm gonna be home late and I'm not gonna wanna take it all off. I'm just gonna come home, wash my face, and call it a night. We are going all natural today. I literally almost left without my camera again. What is up? I am getting ready to go to a concert tonight so super last minute bought um well not super last minute probably like a week or two ago bought tickets to go see bat bunny debating like back and forth whether or not we should buy these tickets because they're a little expensive and i've seen bat bunny before when he came out with his first album but he's come out with a lot of good music since then it's from his new album, Nadie Sabe Lo Que Va A Pasar. Mañana, I think that's... He always has these long ass album titles, but I think that's the name of the title. 
or the title of the album. Um, so that's the one we're going to go to and figured I can come on camera and kind of get ready and kind of chat through my day because it's been a busy morning, let me tell you. Um, and we're straightening our hair today. So this is my favorite protectant spray. This is Hot Toddy by Dry Bar and it smells so good. It's a lightweight spray, protects your dry hair from heat styling and curling straightening and styling irons up to 450 degrees so it does feel super lightweight every time I put it on it doesn't feel heavy it doesn't feel like um, greasy because sometimes some of them feel greasy and yeah and it smells good it doesn't smell too bad this is my favorite and we're straightening our hair tonight um, this is the GHD Kronos and I just got this one I love it it, it heats up so fast. My lights are flickering though. I think it takes a lot of power. But it heats up in minutes. And when it makes that sound, that means that it's already ready to go. And it's supposed to be single pass. But girl, I got a lot of hair. I got a thick head of hair. So this is going to take way more than one pass. At least three passes for me. Because... I had a section that's out in three sections, and then those sections, unless I'm pulling little hairs, um, which we're not going to do because we like to be quick, then it's going to take me forever. But that is what we're going to do today. It's just a quick get ready with me and chat. Um, I tried to record last night at the restaurants. But it was so dark in there and it was so loud because they had the basketball games going on for March Madness. Oh, I didn't even section this right. I also cut my hair short in the front so it doesn't always hold. Let me see. So it was so loud in there. I can barely hear my family talking. Um, and there was little, there was like no conversation happening, let me be real. There was like small conversation in, ha conversations happening. Oh, my, hold on, my camera is dying, I gotta change batteries. So, my second battery is also dead, which freaking sucks, I'm not prepared for this. I'm gonna need to buy like a stash of six of these because one of them is going to have to be charged. Like, this is ridiculous. But since my camera's dying, we can't do a get ready with me and chat. So, basically, I was trying to record last night. Couldn't. Um, it was so loud. So dark. And then this morning, I actually went out for breakfast with my boyfriend. It was super cute. So nice. We both had the day off. So, it was nice for us to take a moment and, like, spend some quality time together. After that, I did come home and did my makeup and went out for lunch with i know i can eat but <laughs> i went out to lunch with my mom and just got home from that so it was a very busy day full of socializing it's nice because it's always nice to catch up with my mom because we didn't get to talk yesterday it was so freaking loud but the food was amazing um would we'll definitely go back but only if you're going to eat and not to have conversation because it's really hard to even have any kind of conversation there. Sad I didn't get to chat and like straighten my hair, but you know what? It is what it is. I'm gonna have to chat, charge these bad boys up and we'll try again tomorrow. I look how I feel. Like shit. Oh my gosh, look at this hair. I'm about to like jump in the shower Yesterday uh, was the concert and it was amazing. Story time. We got our seats upgraded super last minute. We had a feeling they were going to, but we weren't too sure because they had a show Thursday night and my boyfriend's cousin went and he told us that he got upgraded to some like really awesome seats. But guys, as soon as we got to our section, so it was at the United Center, as soon as we got to our section, we were like in the 300 section, there was already a worker standing in our seats and I was just standing there waiting for him to get out of the way. 
and he literally just tells us if we want our seats upgraded and my boyfriend and i did not hesitate we're well we first asked where the new section would be because regardless if they're upgrading our seats like if it's not a good view then is it really worth changing our seats so he told me it was around the section where the stage was and we didn't even think twice about it we're like yep let's do it we're upgrading and we get to our seats and you guys it was such a sweet view we got upgraded from the 300 sections to the 100 section right on the stage on the edge where he came out um and he was on that stage a majority of the night like it was so unreal so fun my boyfriend and i felt just so lucky but there were a lot of people in that same section who got upgraded my boyfriend and i had the time of our lives like you could see bad bunny so clearly and he put on a good show let me tell you he put on a good show and it he almost played i want to say he played just about every song on his album plus a couple throwback songs a little mix of like throwback songs so overall amazing experience we bought these tickets super last minute i think we bought it like a week or two before the concert and then the fact that we ended up getting upgraded was like a huge plus like we're we we're still kind of in shock today but the concert ended a little late my boyfriend and i ended up going to a local bar and just kept the night going so i ended up staying over at his place and the following morning i was just so tired so lazy but we ended up getting up and we met up with his family to have um ramen which was perfect for the night after because i had a minor headache so we went to ramen san in the hotel market and that ramen place is so good that ramen hit the spot i ended up getting a coffee after uh, dropped my boyfriend off and then came back home. So I have been gone all Day And all night actually brought some take-home ramen because I didn't get to finish it. So best believe I'm about to reheat that and we're gonna have a chill night and just Relive the concert from the night before on my phone. I have so many videos <laughs> I'll try to add some clips on here welcome to another day in the vlog it is now sunday march 31st easter sunday i am about to get ready because i have dinner plans with my family yeah i'm kind of running late which is the story of my life i always wait till the last minute to get ready and then i end up like 15 to 20 minutes late to my dinner plans all right we got something quick something easy this took me 10 minutes. Let's take a little moment for the fit. I got this from Target. Trench from H&M. And then look how cute this little purse is. I got this from Target too. So I'm feeling like an Easter egg for sure with my yellow. But I'm already late. 
I'm already late. It is what it is. And I will get there when I get there. That is, that is my life right now.